Peter Reinhardt here in Boulder, Colorado at the End of the Fire Within conference. And I'm here with Joseph Pergolesi who organized, put on the conference. He's the one who makes these ovens. And uh, this is the 63rd Street Farm where you make them, right? That's correct, right. And by the way, I love your patch. Right? Thank you. You got the Fire Within patch. We've got the jackets, but none of us got the patch. I want one of those patches okay. at the next conference. I'll get you one. I love it. All right, and, and also with us is Andreas Salazar. And you're from Colombia, yeah. South America. And you have brought us some beautiful, real mozzarella di bufala. Yes. Tell us about this. Well, we got into the crazy idea of uh, bringing buffaloes to our farm in Colombia. And we brought them from uh, India about eight months ago. Went back to Italy, got all the technology. Yeah. And um, convinced two really guys to, that really knew how to do it to train us. and. Uh, We've been producing it for about three months ago. So you're making this in the style that, that is made in, in, in the in, Naples area. Exactly, of, of it, in Naples. Like Campania. Yes. Beautiful. So this is real water buffalo mozzarella. And, and this, is the, this is kind of like the, the, the Cadillac or the, what we call the gold standard of, of uh, mozzarella cheeses, right? It's definitely different. It's got a lot more cream. Yeah. It almost tastes it's, like it's in, that the outside is, is uh, you know, chewy and the inside is almost creamy. It is. I'm going to try one of these. What, what do you call them when they're this size? Those are the bocconcinis. Mm. I mean, if, really, if, you can see that it's stretched so that it's a little, like a little skin on the outside and then it's just pure creamy on the inside. Exactly. That's what keep, keeps it cream. For example, if you look at this, it's just cream inside. Yeah. Yeah. That's something. You think there's going to be some of that for me? <laughs> We're going to have Joseph make us a classic margarita pizza the, with what they call the true margarita pizza, the, the DOC, the official margarita pizza of Naples using this buffalo, uh, buffalo mozzarella. But how, like how many buffalo do you have on your farm to be able to make this cheese? We started with 900 and we are expecting to in less than a year to be a little bit over 2,000. 2,000 wow. buffalo. Yes. So we'll be producing thousands and thousands of pounds of cheese. Well, our capacity right now is 90 tons per month. 90 tons per month. Yes. Sounds good. So you'll be able to supply the, we'll be able to get this in the United States. That's the idea. All right. Well, we're going to be looking forward to that. So Joseph, why don't you, why don't you go ahead and make us a margarita pizza? You're putting on a little, uh, what's that, some tomato sauce. This is a classic margarita. Right. And it's essentially a margarita pizza is tomatoes, mozzarella cheese and basil, red, white, and green, the colors of the Italian flag. So uh, go ahead and take one of these balls of okay. mozzarella and, and slice it up. You can crumble it on here, but I think it, it's gonna be pretty if you do, but these big ones, we can make some slices. Mm. So we're gonna assemble, go ahead and put that on there. <sighs> Look at that cheese in the middle. It's gorgeous. So you like to break it up when you make yours. I do. Okay. Yeah, it is different because you can see that it's almost, it almost looks like burrata. It does. Yeah. yeah. It's beautiful. And it, if you. you can't, and if you can't get um, this, the, the buffalo mozzarella, the burrata would be a good substitute, oh. I think. Yeah. Let's go ahead and take it to the oven. I got this fired up real high. This is one of the ovens you you designed and made. That's right. Okay. So we're in now. In Naples, a pizza like this would take about a minute to a minute and a half to bake. Yeah. So are we looking for about the same thing? Yeah, we're going to look for probably about a minute, minute and a half. Um, I typically let the dough sit for about, you know, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, just to firm up the bottom of the crust. Mm -hmm. And then, then the fun starts. Seems like it's not very hot for you. I think we should have gone deeper in. Yeah. yeah. It's starting to puff up nicely now. I can see we're starting to get that cornichon part yeah. of that. So, Andres, how's it, how's it feel you to see your, your mozzarella being made into a pizza now? Oh, it's great. Does that All look right. good? A little bit more. How many of these ovens have you uh, actually made so far? We're just about at 100 this year. Really? 100 yeah. units of rolling around yeah. America somewhere? Rolling around in over 35 states. And, and in Canada as well? We're right? in Canada. Um, we get visits to our website from over 70 we're countries. <laughs> All right, it's looking good now. We got some char on there. You see a lot of bubbling action. Let's take it to the bench. Okay. We'll go ahead and, and put it right on this cutting board. And take a bunch of leaves of basil, roll them up like this. Take a knife and cut thin threads of basil like that. And at the end, you can take those. Just when you take half of these and sure. sprinkle them over the top. Andreas. 
Have at it. <laughs> Thanks. We're now turning this into the flag of Italy. And again, the basil will wilt into the pizza. So by the time it gets to the table, it's going to sort of uh, soften and wilt. And I like the reason we like to put threads on here is because this way, if you cut a lot of slices, everybody gets a little bit of the basil. And but if you go with leaves, then everyone gets one leaf. <laughs> Personal preference. I kind of like it this way myself. So we made margarita pizza. We have Andreas's pure bufala. What's it? Mozzarella di bufala. Yes. Uh, and. Uh, Joseph Pergolesi of The Fire Within, our host for this weekend of an amazing conference. We're yeah. excited to see all these ovens. They're all different designs. They're all over the farm here. And um, we're going to be talking with yeah. you some more. So, Great. Joseph, thanks so much for having Thank us. You. Andreas, yeah. when people go looking for your, your cheese, what's the name of your, your it's cheese? It's going to be Annabella. Annabella. Yes. And when they see Annabella, they'll know it's uh, a mozzarella made yeah. from the milk of buffalo. What from buffalo? Grass-fed water buffalo. Grass-fed, too. Nice. Yes. Nice. Sound.